hi and welcome back to another youtube video my name is lauren if you're new today's video is going to be a restock video it's restock weekend so we're going to costco right now and then we'll come back i'll do a haul and then we're going to trader joe's but i'm sure by now you guys already know the drill it's gonna be pretty big hauls and i'm super excited because i'm hoping that trader joe's and maybe costco has some new things that we can try for lunches and for dinners or snacks breakfast whatever so let's head to costco i'll bring you guys along and hopefully we find some good stuff Welcome to Chick-fil-A, my name is Robinson, the large fry medium water, and then the two strips, and then extra. Okay, we just got Chick-fil-A. I don't even know how long we waited in line, but I mean, the Chick-fil-A lines are always super long, but um, there's a Chick-fil-A right in the Costco parking lot, so it was Christian's idea to eat Chick-fil-A. And then he brought up, then we won't buy junk because we're full. Just trip. I ran out of memory. But I got a chicken sandwich, french fries, and then I got a Coke Zero because it's super good. And then Chick-fil-A sauce. But I get the grilled sandwich because it's uh, dairy-free. I'm going to eat this and then we're going to go into Costco. just got home from Costco and I thought I'd do a Costco haul because we got some new stuff. First got a restock of the paper towels and then some cleaning supplies. They have the Mrs. Myers cleaning supplies there in a three pack and they're 24 ounce bottles so they're bigger bottles and it was like $13 for three of these so that's really cheap because I feel like the smaller bottles are around $5 at the store. So I got this big pack of them with the rose scent. We love the lemon, I think it's called lemon verbena, verbena. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And then there's a mint scent. So, got this. We get our Tide Pods there. And then we got some dishwasher pods. We got a bunch of ground beef. They didn't have our usual ground turkey that we buy in stock. So I'm gonna go back either next weekend if I have time, but we have people coming into town, or the weekend after that to grab some ground beef. Got some chicken breast, and then we're switching up our salmon to tilapia this time. So we're switching up the fish. So we got a bunch of tilapia. We're gonna vacuum seal these. Eggs, siete wraps, these are so, so good for literally tacos, breakfast quesadillas, breakfast tacos, anything, so good. We haven't tried these before. The chicken meatballs, the teriyaki and pineapple flavor. This would be good for dinner on its own or over pasta. This I'm so excited about. This mush overnight oats, they had a big pack of it, an eight pack. I've never tried it before, but I've seen it all over and I've been dying to try it. And I saw it there and I was like, you know what? Might as well just pick it up. So I'll let you guys know how this is. I got the vanilla almond flavor. This was the only flavor that they did have, but it sounds really good. So I'm excited about that. Quick breakfast idea. Christian gets pulled into the little um, samples that Costco has, and he tried this and loved it. And I picked up these veggie burgers for me. So I've never tried these, but they, they sound really good. Got some pot roast. This is just such a quick and easy dinner. I've mentioned it before. So good. And then lastly, I don't know if you can hear that thunder and lightning. The weather is getting so bad outside. But um, lastly, I got this riced cauliflower stir fry. This is so good for lunch meal prep. So that's the Costco haul. I'm gonna put this stuff away. We'll probably vacuum seal later today after I get back from Trader Joe's. But yeah, I'm gonna put this stuff away and then see how the weather is and then go to Trader Joe's.
from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna do a haul. It's a pretty big one. I feel like I got a lot of different stuff. I don't know where to begin. So I got some organic salsa, the medium one. I can't remember if I tried this before or not, but salsa, some chunky guacamole. I got a kombucha. I got the gingerade kombucha. I love this brand. I got a bunch of these. These fried rice bags. These are so, so good. I got a bunch of those. And it's such like a, just an easy dinner that you don't have to put any thought into for the week. Like we just crack an egg or two in the middle of this and add some protein and that's dinner. I am so excited about this. I didn't think they sold this in Florida because I've looked it up before in the past and it's only been in California. So it's the Summer Water Rosé. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I've only been able to see that it was sold in California. So I saw that they have it at Trader Joe's a few months ago and I saw it again today on an end cap and I was like, let me just pick it up. So I'm really excited about this. I feel like Rosé is... The wine of summertime and this is summer water so it's just fitting so i'll let you guys know how that is um i got this vegetable stir fry this looked like an easy dinner side honestly the frozen section of trigger nose is my heaven because it just is full of easy dinners that you just don't have to put any thought into or easy sides so I got this Caprese ravioli. Christian loves this, so this would be like a good dinner side for him. I got some frozen raspberries for smoothies, frozen blueberries. I got two bags of those. Okay, so I was so bummed about this. They haven't had the hash browns at Trader Joe's. This is the second time that I've gone and they haven't had them. So I just got these shredded hash browns and you can kind of portion out how many you want. <sighs> I was really bummed, but got some sweet potato fries. I'm running out of room. I got some cauliflower gnocchi. Got some center cut filet. Trader Joe's has just, I've said it a million times, has incredible center cut filet and it's a, a decent price. So we always get our filet at Trader Joe's and it's just really good. Okay, I haven't had this in so long, but I saw it. It's the Trader Joe's Soyaki. We kind of ran it into the ground last year when we were buying it, or it was like two years ago. We bought it all, I bought it all the time and used it on basically everything and we kind of got sick of it. So it's been a little bit since I've bought it. So that'd be a good time to just Try it again, see if we like it, see if we're still sick of it. Um, I got this broccoli and kale slaw kit. So I thought this would be like a good dinner side. I got some peanut butter. This vegan creamy dill dressing. I thought it sounded so good. So, got that. I got some of these turmeric shots. And then these sounded good. I don't know if they taste any different than regular grapes, but I got these honey pearl grapes. They just sounded good. I don't know, and different. I'll try them. <laughs> I'll try them on camera and let you guys know. I got two of these, what are they, greenless tortilla chips. These are so good, my favorite for the salsa and guacamole. So dip, and then I got a bag of the Elote corn chip dippers. I used to call these the everything but the elote chips for so long and they're not even called that. And no one told me that I was wrong. And Christian said that he didn't have the heart to tell me that I was wrong every time he heard me call these chips the wrong name. But I said that in my last like haul video that no one <laughs> said that I was saying it wrong. And I was like, you guys are supposed to have my back. You're supposed to tell me when I'm saying something wrong or doing something wrong, you know? Um, I got some sourdough bread. I got some pepper. And then last but not least, I got these peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets. So I feel like this was like a pretty... 
decent haul. I need to run to Publix to get just some like regular stuff and maybe they have hash browns of some sort like slices. Um, I know that Target had them but I just looked on the app and they don't have any more in stock and the closest one is an hour and a half away. I'm not driving that far for hash browns. Um, but maybe Publix has something like that. So I'm gonna check. Yeah, so I just wanna get all of my grocery shopping out of the way today and not have to think about it tomorrow. So I'm gonna put all this stuff away and then probably go to Publix. It is kind of raining outside. So I probably, my hair is just not, not looking good. Um, anyways, so I'm gonna put this stuff away and yeah, then we'll go to Publix and get the last bit of our <laughs> groceries. Last but not least, let's do a quick Publix grocery haul. This is the last of everything that I'll need for a while. So let's start over here. I'm making chili this weekend. So I got a bunch of stuff for chili, just all the canned stuff and then some more powder for it. Got some of these biscuits. Oh, I'm also doubling the recipe. So I'm using two crock pots for the chili. So that way we can freeze some and then periodically pull it out for an easy dinner. So I love doing this, so I'll be doubling the recipe. I got some chicken salad for lunches for the week. I don't feel like meal prepping this next week. It is my last week at work, and also we have people coming into town towards the end of the week. I just, I don't wanna meal prep. I want something super easy. I know my last week of work, I'll have like a luncheon for me celebrating me um, getting the new job with my clients and the staff. So didn't wanna meal prep. This is easy. Bacon, we love bacon for breakfast on the weekends. Some of these baby gold potatoes, these are good for dinner. <laughs> a bunch of diced yellow onion because, um, you know, why not? I mean, just when you can take the easy way out, take the easy way out. Some brown rice, jasmine rice, spinach for smoothies, romaine. You know what I heard? online that actually works if you buy your romaine like this and you don't eat it all it takes me a few weeks to go through this and by that time it's bad before you wash it put it in tin foil and it lasts in the fridge up to a month i promise it works because i tried it on the last batch and it works some frozen peas minced garlic some cucumber an avocado. Next, just some easy containers to throw the chili in to freeze it. Milked walnuts milk. I loved this last summer, so I picked up another one of these. Some egg whites. You guys, I found these at Publix, and since Trader Joe's didn't have them, and I found them at Publix, I picked them up. So hopefully they're just as good. Got some ground turkey for the chili. These potatoes are really good and also just really easy to cook during the week. Some different frozen veggies for the week. Some English muffins. Some bread for Christian. He's doing the chicken salad sandwiches on bread, but I'm doing it on those Siete almond flour wraps with some spinach or lettuce. Be really good. Some green beans bananas, and lastly, I picked up some poppies. I love these two flavors, but I haven't tried this flavor yet. It's the watermelon flavor. So I saw that they just started carrying it at my public, so I picked it up there. So I'm gonna put all this stuff away, and then I'm gonna figure out dinner because it is already seven o'clock, and I can't believe I've spent so long at the grocery stores. <laughs> done tomorrow thank goodness because it's very grown out 
I'm gonna try these honey pearl grapes and I thought I would try them on camera. I don't know if they're gonna be any different, but we'll see. Okay, let's try. Oh my gosh, they are. They literally have honey taste in them. Are these like the cotton candy grapes where the first few taste like it, but the next don't? Because these really taste like they have honey in them. Go to Trader Joe's right now and get these honey pearl grapes. They're incredible. They're literally incredible.